This video will include an introduction to Winter's formula as well as one example of it being used. Winter's formula is used in times of metabolic acidosis, which just to refresh your memory, is when the arterial pH is less than 7.35 and the arterial bicarbonate level is less than 22 milliequivalents per liter. Some of these values may vary depending on what institution you're working with, but for the purposes of this video, these are the values we'll be using. Now the purpose of Winter's formula is to determine the answer to this question. Is the respiratory system properly compensating for the ongoing metabolic acidosis? So normally when you have a metabolic acidosis, meaning you have too much acid or the pH is too low in your bloodstream, your respiratory system tries to blow off carbon dioxide, thus lowering the acidity. Winter's formula is this. The expected partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the bloodstream should be within the range of 1.5 times the bicarbonate level plus 8. And this gives you a range plus or minus 2. So whatever numbers this formula spits out, you want to add or subtract 2 from that to give you a range. And it's also important, at least for this video's sake, uh, that we will be using values given from arterial blood gas, not a venous blood gas, which would be a bit different. So let's move on to an example. We have a patient who has been experiencing diarrhea and thus their bicarbonate levels are low. I listed up at the top here a low bicarbonate, an acidic pH, and with the patient's actual, or from the arterial blood gas, partial pressure of CO2. <clears throat> Here we use Winter's formula to determine the expected range of what that CO2 should be if it's properly compensated. So you can see I input the 14 for the bicarbonate level here into the equation. The expected partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 1.5 times 14 plus 8 plus or minus 2. And that simplified as 29 plus or minus 2 or gives us a range of 27 to 31. Now you can clearly see that our actual CO2 is not within that range. And then down here I summarized that the actual PCO2 of 20 is not in the range, which means that there's improper compensation or the respiratory system is not properly compensating for the ongoing metabolic acidosis caused by that diarrhea. Now what could be going on if you have improper compensation? It could be a lot of different things, but basically there's some other ongoing process besides just that initial insult of diarrhea causing the metabolic acidosis. If the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is below the range, which it is in our case, you have an ongoing primary respiratory alkalosis. So you have a metabolic acidosis and a respiratory alkalosis. This can be caused by a lot of different things. The patient could be really jacked up or really excited or really nervous or really worried, thus causing them to hyperventilate a bit, which would bring that CO2 level down. They could be on different kinds of drugs, have a fever, or they could be uh, acclimatizing to a, a higher altitude. And then conversely, if the partial pressure of CO2 is above the range, which was not the, our case, you would have two types of acidosis occurring, a metabolic from the diarrhea and a respiratory from one of these causes or several other. And that is an introduction to Winter's formula.